A passed pawn can be incredibly dangerous for the defender, and it's no fun to helplessly watch a passed pawn march down the board and promote into a queen. As the defender, you should try to prevent this dangerous type of pawn from advancing. One of the most effective strategies is using a blockade. As we'll see, the best piece to blockade is the knight. In this position, black is blockading the passed d5 pawn with a rook on d6. Not a great blockading piece. After white plays b4, and if black plays c takes b4, white recaptures the pawn with bishop takes b4, attacking black's rook. And since it is more valuable than the bishop, black is forced to retreat with rook to d7. White now breaks through black's dark square defenses with c5, threatening to create a second pass pawn with c6. So after b takes c5, and bishop takes c5, white has successfully opened up the position. Not only does black still need to worry about the pass d pawn, black's pawn on a7 also becomes a target of attack. After b4, if black doesn't capture the b pawn and plays a move like rook to d7, opening up the d6 square for the best blockading piece, the knight, white can simply play b takes c5. And after b takes c5, white attacks the newly isolated c5 pawn with bishop to f2. And after rook to c7, the pass pawn marches forward with d6. Black can blockade the pass pawn again with rook to d7, but now loses a pawn after bishop takes c5, giving white a second pass pawn when black's defenses will collapse. Returning to the starting position, what if we switch the position of black's rook and knight, like this? Black's position has improved greatly. The knight on d6 is the ideal blockader, because not only does it block white's pass pawn, it also is an active piece, putting pressure on c4 and e4. Since c4 is under pressure by the blockading knight, white tries to protect c4 with rook to c1 hoping to play b4 on the next turn, but black can simply play a5, closing the queen side. It will be very difficult for white to make any progress. Let's take a look at another position. In this position, black could immediately block white's pass d5 pawn with rook to d6, but as we know, the knight is a much better blockader. Can you see how black's knight can blockade the d5 pawn? Black can play knight to e8. The knight is prepared to blockade on d6 with a powerful position. White anticipates this move and plays bishop to e2. So after knight to d6, black's knight blockades white's pass d5 pawn and targets both white's c4 and e4 pawns. After bishop to d3, black has a very comfortable game. The blockading knight is a great piece for attack and defense. The knight not only blocks the pass pawn, it also supports possible pawn breaks such as f5 and b5. Let's take a look at one more example together. In this position, black is up a pawn, but it looks like white has everything under control with a knight blockading the pass d pawn, and the rest of the position appears completely closed. When fighting against a blockade, it's essential to force open lines even if it means having to sacrifice a little material. With black to move, black has a great resource to blast open the position. Can you find it? If you found the powerful b5, great job. Black sacrifices a pawn to blast open lines. If white tries to keep the position blocked with knight to b2, black opens up the b file after b takes c4 and b takes c4. Black will now invade on the newly opened B file with rook C to B8. If white plays C takes B5, this opens up black's light squared bishop, allowing bishop takes B3. When C4 will destroy white's blockade. Finally, if A takes B5, black breaks through with A4. Black will capture on b3 on the next turn, removing the key defender of the c4 pawn 
and opening up the A file for Black's rooks to invade White's position. A blockade is only as strong as the defender's ability to prevent the opponent's activity. Once other open lines are created for the opponent's pieces, a blockade becomes much less effective. Do you have what it takes to effectively blockade a position? Let's see.